Alright, it's bonus episode time. I don't even have my phone on me. So if you pay attention, if you remember from a couple of videos ago, I think it was video... Episode 23... He says some shit in the beginning. But now we're gonna do Aristed's chapter, which is relatively simple compared to the badass hodgepodge of random shit that the previous scenario or version of this scenario was. No, I can't take Zidane seriously when he has that sprite. He just looks too much like a main protagonist. But I, I appreciate them for designing him this way right now. Remember when I was an edgitarian and I used to say shit like that all the freaking time? Not that it isn't absolutely true. But it's usually said by people who don't understand where that might, that makes right comes from. It's the same as reductionists and people of that mentality in general. Oh, I got control. So now we control the bad guys. So obviously we're going to be doing some ass kicking. Even these guys are nerfed. Yeah, back up. This is actually pathetic. And prophetic. I had a feeling we'd be doing some shit like this. If we put our will to it. I'm just gonna loop his ass. So if I interrupt that again, oh, good. I was worried that if I might lose track, I'll end up repeating these battles, but nah. Honestly, this is a little bit of a badass turn of events. You can reverse history a little bit. As you know, all these antagonists are actually the will of Odeo. I mean, that's Ode right there. Okay. 
Okay, poison fangs. Drink blood. That was okay. Man, these are just, this is too much. Can this guy have like some decent physical attacks or some shit? Apparently, of course, they really don't need them. They're not going to outfit you with a dude that deals little DPS. And have you fight guys with a lot of hit points. That'd be crazy. Oh, that would have would have made things a lot more simple. So yeah, this is a little fucked up. I'm actually destroying all of my allies right now, piece by piece. It's kind of like Breath of Fire 4's bad ending. Except you're not nearly as OP. It looks like they're overwhelmed by a giant shaft, but it's actually just O D O and shit. How much will this do? A lot. I'd be concerned if these guys actually kill me. Hey, yo. Fucking hate that Zaki guy. Certainly, Odio is a little less annoying. I wonder. Nah, I'm not gonna risk it. Rent. I'm gonna rent her useless. Well, uh, I want to try the other move out. So now I'm just gonna. They're just taking it right now. I don't know why. Dude's tanking. Damn. It's pathetic, man. You lost your friend, your rival, and your girl, man. Just give it up. Okay. That just leaves the one in the center and two in the back after I'm done with this shit. 
What I'm not looking forward to is a giant robot battle. That was definitely Miguel's world reclaim the title of world's strongest. Yep. Oh wow, the dialogue I remember this shit. It's badass, but it just moves at a snail's pace. It's not that I'm being impatient, it's just that I hate spamming the confirm button. Like, put some auto scroll into this shit. So yeah, they added a lot of details to this game for these, this final act and shit. It all really starts to come together at this point. Oh, that was actually kind of quick. So another one of Odeo's incarnations. You see how competent he is when I use him? Because I get people's stats on point. Unless I don't need to, then I cheese it another way. I've been a good boy when it comes to getting people's stats up in this game. I ain't gonna front or stunt. Let's get it on, man. Okay, so his name is O Dio. Oh, cause his name was Dio. I get it. So. I didn't make that connection before. I was thinking Dio. I'm just gonna play around with him. Oh, this guy's no joke. Good Gatling shots. I just want to see all her moves. Yeah, he did have those two badass attacks, which makes him quite the adversary. Anyway. So is this going to be Wally or the mech? Again, all the final bosses of the seven scenarios are incarnations of Odeo. It's actually a little more subtle than I might have thought. Okay, so he can... I don't got like little side appendages to help me out like before. Oh, that wasn't very smart of me. Okay, that might debuff him a little bit, which is a little helpful. Oh, damn, this is just...
This is just awful. Hard protect. Oh damn, Wally looks so pathetic being smashed to pieces as he was right there. And this has to be Akira slash Jaden scenario. I think it's implicit that we'll try this first, but I'm gonna try it last. Hopefully this is better when you use the other side. Great Inko Buddha statue. Master Odeo. Okay, that's that's the subtlety right there. Or a hint that you get. Ugh. Liquefied man curse. Karuru story. Hopefully I can get all the moves in. Come on, stay alive. Alright, good. This is how it ought to be designed. Okay, so which is a little more effective? Liquefied Man Curse or... Damn, this is fun. I'm actually thrashing living hell out of this guy. That used to do OP ass damage. Being over leveled in this ain't no joke. Beast mode, that's what it is. Just spam the living shit out of this. This is a climax. This is like some kind of therapy session for all the bullshit this game gave me. Yeah, just drop everything. Drop your life, too. Just drop dead, man. Well, that was fun, I guess. And that was the battle I wasn't looking forward to. Quit your bitching, man. And of course, I still gotta hammer that confirm button. Well, I'm not hammering it, I'm just pushing it down. So this is simple. It doesn't try to give you the chills like losing to Lavos and Kron Trigger. Still, nonetheless, it's quite empty and... Leaves a lot to the imagination, like, what's this idiot gonna do now? Either way, Odeo slash Zidane slash Airstead, he pretty much lives a life of tragedy. He, he gets no happy endings, not even like a bittersweet shit. This dude is just... Fucked. Can you at least move on to another kingdom and start over there? What the hell are you doing just chilling in this place alone? Is this like the only thing that exists in this world? Looking like a lonely ass motherfucker. That's that's pathetic.
Why you even gotta read the sign for? Damn. <clears throat> All the blood stopped circulating to my feet. Now if I try to stand up, I'm gonna fall the hell down, man. Let me try it now. I'm gonna get knocked out, but... Oh, I still have the strength to stand and stay standing. That's incredible. Lonely ass motherfucker. For all I know, I could be saying this and he's actually giddy as all hell. And of course, the human psyche is reactionary to take from the base meaning and the shitty meaning and he's going to do whatever to feel good and not drop dead from despair. So he might need to go a little crazy just to make it. And this credit sequence is pathetic. Oh, that little flashback thing is cool, though. Tetsuo Mizonu, alright. So yeah, this is pretty much the end of Live Alive for me. I'm not going to record any more episodes. What left is there to try to finale with different guys? Like, Because I didn't use Cube. I didn't use a Wally. I didn't use the Cookie Kid. I didn't use the Shaq Fu Fat Boy. Or go through their dungeons or... Get the aerial armor from their places. But that's all okay. That's okay. Because that's something you can do. And it's not even that much. Think about it. Okay. Is he about to say something? Or is he just going to look menacing? Oh, sad end. Ah, uh, sad end. Alright, quit your bitching. If that even does anything. Anyways, it's been your boy Mr. Monk7 back in with another... With the last real episode of Live. Uh, Aksei I make day, whatever.